I recently shooed a fox out of the garden by squirting it with water. Five minutes later, I watched in horror as it returned with its brother and ate my plimsoll. <laughs> <laughs> Please, team. Uh -huh. What do you think? <laughs> I've never heard anything so middle class in all the <laughs> I'm on a picture, it. So you're in your house and you see the fox in the garden. Mm. Now, you don't, with the greatest respect, you don't strike me as overly nimble. But I'm just nimble uh, enough. Between <laughs> one and ten, how quickly were you in the garden? I went out in the garden at top speed for me, yeah. which I'm afraid is now 6.7. <laughs> anyway, you, you come out into the garden, you, you've got the hose, you see yeah. the fox. And he sort of moves you. away a bit, shows some, a certain degree of, of fear of, of the alpha predator. Yeah. He sees me and he thinks, Do you know, I think I'm safe with this guy. <laughs> and I thought, well, I can't have this. I can't have the fox thinking it's one. If I lose my power to frighten off foxes, what am I? Can I answer that? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, I grab, I grab my hose <laughs> and I, you know, Sorry, swizzle some down. water at the... I don't, I don't want to soak the poor creature. Did you put your thumb on the end? So I, I did put my thumb on the end and I directed some water sort of towards the lawn, just kind of between him and me. Yeah. And that's enough. He's, right. he's off. I bet he went, after he, the fox went off, I bet he went. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot he hadn't turned it off. <laughs> Looked around sheepishly and thought, I better get those pimps <laughs> Are you in your pyjamas? I was wearing normal clothes. Well, David, we've got a different opinion yeah, of what normal clothes yeah, yes, Did you? Have... Did you have... it, was, it was black tie, not white tie. <laughs> So, in a nutshell, yeah. you had a fox in your garden, you come out, mm -hmm. water the thing out the garden, then a little while later, it comes back. <laughs> Two of them come Two back. Two of them. Now, yeah. where are you at this point? I'm, I'm in the kitchen. Right. Noticing they've come back to the garden, thinking, dear, oh, dear. There was deer there as well. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the fox... And then one of the foxes goes and grabs this uh, plimsoll that I keep by the shed. Why? In, for, for walking around the garden. One plimsoll. What? <laughs> no, there's two. I keep two. It's only a suggestion. Why don't you keep the plimsolls near the back door so you don't have to get your feet wet if it's raining? Well, you're full of home improvement ideas. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, cos I'm a moron. <laughs> what happens to the plimsoll? Uh, one of them savages this shoe. What's the other one doing? I, I don't know. I don't speak fox. <laughs> if you want to do a proper impression of a fox, I know a woman. <laughs> Providing you're a tad gullible, we'll show you exactly. <laughs> so go on. So, no, so, no, so I say, hello, Mr. Fox. <laughs> I'm trying to communicate with you. Perhaps you could stop pooing on my lawn. <laughs> right, Lee, what are you thinking? Fundamentally, no Englishman leaves a pair of plimsolls as his garden footwear and keeps them by a shed. So you're saying it's... It's a lie. It's a lie? Yeah, I think it's a lie. Well, I'll go with my team, even though I think it's true. Saying it's a lie. OK, David. Squirting foxes in the garden. Truth or lie? It is... a lie. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> I thought it was a lie, yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's a lie. David didn't squirt water to fox only for it to return and eat his plimsoll.